Hey guys, what's up? So I don't have my video on today. I'm currently on the road and away from my usual camera setup. But nonetheless, I wanted to create a video for you guys and it's gonna be on my two favorite cannabis roots. Now I'm not invested in either of these, but I think they're quite interesting plays. And right now I'd really suggest putting them on your watch list and see how it plays out in the next little while here. So first one on the list is Abvi. Now this is actually a biopharmaceutical company. So you're probably thinking, well, this isn't cannabis, this is pharmaceutical, but they're actually involved in the cannabis space as well. And I think this is gonna help drive growth in the future. So let me run you through this company. So AbbVie is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the States, but not too long ago, they did invest into marijuana and it's called Marinol. Now Marinol is used to treat a number of things and the amount of things that it does currently treat is probably just gonna grow over time as cannabis becomes more studied, more understood and more trusted and it is and it is currently being sold around north america and i think that they can really expand off this and hopefully push its revenues to new highs but overall abby is a pharmaceutical play so this isn't a direct cannabis play but i do think it's a safe way to get exposure in the cannabis industry if you're currently hesitant on it this could be your first stepping stone now let's take a look at its chart and its financials so abby or the ticker symbol a b b v is currently trading at $86. Back in 2018, it was at $120 and then was eventually pushed to a recent low from the health crisis to around $65. And since then, we've seen it retrace to $100, but then now it's currently dipped back down to $86. So lately, it's been extremely volatile, so it's hard to jump in this stock all at once. Let's go through the financials and then after, I'll give you a strategy and how you could play the stock. Okay, so it is quite a large company. It has a market cap of $152 billion, but it has a decent P ratio of $19 and an EPS of 4.52. So they are extremely profitable. And in my opinion, a pharmaceutical play is overall safe. Pharmaceutical companies make a ton of money. And because this is a REIT, it pays a very nice dividend of 5.47% right now. Now, another very interesting measurement here is their 4P. They have a 4P of 7, which is extremely bullish for the company considering their current P is around 19. So they're expected to perform well over this next year. So that is something that's nice to see and should give you some confidence in the future of this company. Now let's take a look over at its revenues. It's been growing very consistently over the years. Another thing you wanna see, it doesn't seem to be inconsistent at all. It just keeps on getting bigger and bigger. And then if we take a look at a quarterly basis, we can see that is consistent as well. And then you see in, in the last quarter, they performed very well. Now I don't know if this is from any kind of pent up demand or anything. So just be cautious with that. It could have been pent up demand. Maybe not though. But either way, they are very consistent, which is something you want to see in a company, especially a REIT and a large dividend play like this is. Now, so speaking of profitability, we want to look at their cash flow statement. Looking back the last few years, they've literally doubled in operating cash flow. At the end of the day, a very established company is expected to actually generate profits. And uh, this one does that very well. And we can look down here too. Their free cash flow has been improving amazingly as well. So the company is looking very reliable. But interestingly enough, if we look at a quarterly basis on their cash flow, it's actually trended down. And that's the same for their free cash flow. So this is a little bit alarming to me. However, if we look here at investing cash flow, it's negative 35 million compared to negative 129, 615, and then a positive 1.3 billion. So the inconsistency here may be because of their investing cash flow not being consistent. So for this reason and the extreme volatility in the stock price, and not to mention just the overall state of the economy right now, I personally feel more comfortable putting this on my watch list and just watching how it plays out over the next few months. And if I see a better buying opportunity, I may start buying into it then. But this is definitely one for your watch list and it even may be a good buy right now. I just wanna see what's gonna happen with all this investing cash flow and how it plays out in its financials in the next few quarters. Okay, so that's all I have for that stock. Next one is Altria Group. Again, this isn't a direct cannabis play, but this is a big established company investing in the cannabis space. So for those of you who are more dividend investors looking for a safer way to play the cannabis space, this might be another option for you. So if you don't know what Altria is, they're a massive tobacco company. They're actually one of the world's largest producers and marketers of tobacco, cigarettes, and related products. 
and they are based on the United States as well. Altria Group's ticker symbol is just MO. Now it's really important again to look at Altria's chart because this is the kind of stock you do need to time correctly. So let's see where it's at in its current cycle. Well, you can see back in the year 2000, it had a big run up all the way until the 2008 crisis where this stock plummeted. It went from $75 a share all the way down to a low of around $15 a share. And then since 2009, when they bought them, they had a massive run up until 2017 where they topped out around $77. Now, since 2017, they've really been on a downwards trend going from $77 to currently trading at $39. So we're starting to see some attractive prices here with the stock. So let's take a look at his financials and see how that's been reflecting in its stock price. So looking back just the last few years, we can see their revenues have been slowly increasing and we can also see that their cost of revenue has been decreasing. These in combination can be very powerful. So I do like to see that. Their gross profit has gone up their operating expenses have gone down. So this right off the bat is definitely nice to see. But if we look a little bit closer on a quarterly basis, the last few quarters hasn't been as impressive. It's kind of been down trending and then flatlining just these past last two quarters. So we really got to watch what's going on here, but do take notice that they've been doing a good job at cutting costs. We can see their cost of revenue has been decreasing over time as well. So I think they're moving in the right direction with this, but again, we got to keep an eye on this for now. So of course we need to look at the cash flow statement. Over the last few years, it's gone up consistently and it's gone up a lot actually. It's doubled in the last few years, just the same as ABBV stock as well. Now the past two years, they've invested quite heavily as we can see here. I don't know if this is into the cannabis space, but either way, they are putting out quite a bit of cash. Now hopefully this pays off and we can see their revenue and everything start to ramp up and that'll eventually reflect in the share price. But I do think it's really important over the next few quarters to watch these two companies very closely and see how their financials are playing out and see how their investments in cannabis is benefiting them. But if we look a little bit closer at this cash flow statement in the last few quarters, this has been generally trending down as well. Okay, so how is Altria invested in the cannabis space? So Altria made a 1.8 billion investment for a 45% stake in Kronos Group and that's based out of Canada. Now the timing of this investment was really not good, so it has not been paying off for Altria yet, but it doesn't mean it's not going to in the future. Unfortunately, back in 2018, in Canada, there was a massive cannabis bubble, so Altria invested into Kronos at the wrong time and has lost nearly a third of that investment now. Seeing that Kronos was trading at around $28 at the peak of the bubble, and is now down to about $7. So Altria really hasn't benefited from this cannabis investment, but in my opinion, I think the cannabis industry is gonna have a massive turnaround in the next few years. Investors have been quite scared of the cannabis industry since that bubble, but sediment in my opinion is going to change and investors, once they see the space is growing profitable and is being more consistent and valuations make more sense, we're going to see investors start to pour back into these cannabis stocks. So I do think that Altria will be fine in the long run. So we may have not seen this investment pay off yet, but I do think we're at that turning point where we can start to see that happen very shortly. And so that's why with Altria, I would say this is the stock you wanna put on your watch list, just like AbbVie. I think both of these stocks are very good potential turnaround plays with that cannabis exposure. The last couple years hasn't been good in the cannabis space, but the bubble has bursted in that space. And I do think those investments are going to pay off in the next couple years. So I would rate both of these stocks as a hold right now and put it on your watch list. So if you're wondering, well, when should you buy into these stocks? Well, honestly, they're not trading at bad valuations right now. Their PE ratios really aren't overpriced. They're very profitable, but we're gonna wanna watch the next quarters and see if they can continue to be profitable through this current crisis. Because if they can weather this crisis, then I'm really not worried about this investment in the next five years after the crisis. And then also I gotta mention the nice thing about both of these companies, they sell products that are always going to be in demand regardless of the crisis that we're currently in. Tobacco and pharmaceuticals 
are going to be purchased during this economic crisis. So I really do like that aspect as well with these two stocks. But for me personally, I do want to see how they can make out over the next couple of quarters. And if I see that they're doing well and it's not affecting their business, then I think that would be the perfect time to buy into them. Especially if we see they are performing well and their share price is going down. That is actually the best time to buy in a business. But as always, especially in the times we're in right now, I suggest to dollar cost average in to these stocks that means you don't jump into the stock all at once you slowly invest into it over time so if you have a thousand dollars you want to invest into a stock put 250 dollars in once a week or twice a week that way you minimize your risk and you get the average price over that time so yeah guys that's all i have for this video let me know in the comments down below if you're currently invested in any of these stocks or if you plan to in the future. Either way, I do think that they warrant to be put on your watch list and see how they play out over the next six months. And if you got any value out of this video, please drop a thumbs up. It really supports the channel and helps with this YouTube algorithm. And subscribe if you wanna see more stock related content. I normally do have my video on, but right now I am not in my usual place where I live. So I don't have my camera. But I do try to upload every week. In my next few videos, I should be back in town with my usual setup. And so I will have my video on and it's a lot nicer to film that way. And overall, even for me personally, I do enjoy making these videos a lot more when I'm actually on camera. It's kind of weird just talking to a mic with no camera on. But either way, I wanted to put out a video for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyways. That's all I have for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.